everyone! I am back with a project share video. The lighting may not be the best right now. I'm actually filming this at 6.15 at night because there's only two other kids home besides myself, so it's kind of quiet unless the dog starts barking, which I'm hoping she does not. Um, so this video is to show you that I have been purchasing some of the Me and My Big Ideas um, planner sticker books. Um, so these are the bigger books that have over a thousand pieces. There's 30 sheets for each pack and then however many stickers are in each pack vary as you can see here. So these are the five that I have. There's three more on my list that I want to get. And I just purchased these using the 40 and 50% off coupons at Michael's. Um, you can do the same thing at Hobby Lobby because they carry them also. I just, my Hobby Lobby is a lot farther than my Michael's. So I just kind of go in a couple times a week and pick up a couple with coupons. So like I said, there's three more that I want. But when you pull all of these out of the little packages and you have them like sitting there's a ton of stickers. <laughs> like there's 150 pages is what I did. <clears throat> so I went on YouTube and uh, watched a couple of different videos, probably like a handful of videos on the, the DIY sticker books for these particular stickers, planner stickers, and kind of came up with the solution myself because I don't have the punch. Um, I don't really want to purchase the punch because I know I'm not going to use it enough to even justify it. So um, I had bought a package of these. These are sold at Walmart. Um, it's by a company called IQ360. So this is actually uh, ruled like paper. They have an entire like disc system that they sell. So there's like a planner, uh, there's refill, different refill pages that you can take in and out, uh, different sizes of planners. So there's like this size, there's a bigger one, there's a little tiny one, there's like so, you know, a whole line. They even have their own punch, so it would be this arc punch system type thing, I think that's what they call it. And I remembered that they had all this there because I had bought this as little inserts uh, with information and stuff for my happy planner. These only have eight holes though, as in, like whereas the happy planner has nine. So there's only eight on eight discs on these, which is fine for me. So there's only about a half an inch difference. Um, this is what the rings actually or the discs actually look like. This is leftover. I had to buy two packs, so I actually have enough to make another book if I need to. So these are the one and a half inch. They come in three sizes. When you actually purchase the, the planner, um, you get these little uh, three quarter inch discs on the planners. And I used my other set to make a little notebook um, with a couple of the, I used a tab, one of the tabs and the backing from the paper pad to make like a little notebook. Um, anyway, so this comes on the front, like this will come attached to your planner and it tells you you've got 60 pages inside of it. Uh, you get to choose, when you choose your planner you also get to see what pages come inside because there are different choices. So I just got the one with the ruled uh, notebook paper type stuff and then this tells you kind of like what they carry and whatever well not what they carry yeah some of the stuff they carry this is like your front page so you could actually keep it as a planner and customize it um, it's kind of a, a different idea if you don't have a happy planner and you don't want to spend the money on a happy planner you could totally convert this into like a happy planner style I'm thinking like with if you do like the printout pages or something like that. So this kind of this comes in it. It's a little fold out and it tells you all the stuff that they actually carry. So there's three sizes of the papers. There's uh, two different sizes for the dividers. There's two different sizes for um, 
the poly pockets um, here's the hole punch and then there's the ring or the discs um, so you've got three quarter inch one inch and one and a half and like I said I I have the one and a half because I knew that this was going to be pretty full so what I did was I already had a package of this open plus the 60 that came in I needed 75 pieces of paper to fit all of my stickers on because I did do front and back so I have them categorized uh, for now so this whole section here is all of my uh, boxes like all of my boxes and kind of decorative like sets so as you can see, all I did was just glue it down to the sheet and then I did another one on the back. So there are two per page and I also purchased the dividers. I went back and got the dividers because I really wanted to separate what I was doing. So the dividers look like this. It's just the, the hard plastic. And they're not fancy colors. There's red. There's actually two red, two blue, and a black. So they come in a five pack. And they've got these little tabs right here. So they taper down. So it's red, blue, black, and then blue, and then red, I think. So then I have um, like functional kind of stickers in this section and I actually had to divide my stickers into two books because I had all of them in one and then this is what the back cover looks like so that's the whole thing like that so there's my little tab sticking out um, when I had them all inside the one, it was really, really bulky and it like puffed up. So all I did was run back over to my Walmart and I picked up another one. So I got this cover for this one. It's the same on the front and back. So this one looks quite small because it's not as full. But like I said, I do have three more packs on my list to get. Now these are more like decorative stickers in my mind. Um to kind of decorate your planner with and then there's also um, like quotes and stuff so these are basically my decorative and quote stickers and then this is what the blue tab looks like I just have it in the back here so when I do add more I can put another section like back here so that's what the blue tab looks like like I said the tabs are not fancy by any means but it's a sticker book so I don't really care um, yeah so that's that's it um, I don't think there's really anything else to say about it it's just a little notebook that I put together I just used the the three-quarter inch and this is just the black tab so I just have the paper in here it's actually kind of full but I just used a piece of the the backing that the paper comes in there's kind of a thick piece of, well, I guess it would be more like a thin piece of chipboard inside. And I just traced the holes from the tab, and I just used my uh, my little crocodile and punched them out. And then I overlapped and punched again so it would be wide enough, and then made the little slits to pop it in there. So it was really easy, and it's just got this paper in it. So I'm kind of just using this as a notebook for now. And then I do have extra paper um, when I get more stickers. And then I've got this extra pad. So let me talk about price-wise what you would expect for this. So the actual planners are $3.93 a piece. And I did get one on sale. It was $3. So you're still spending under $4 for the actual book. The rings are, let's see, for the one and a half inch rings, it's $1.93. The divider pack, like I said, it came in the in a five pack, is $1.43. 
And this was at my Walmart, so prices may kind of vary. And then the refill paper is also $1.93. And like I said, they have other choices and other things, but I was just covering the paper up, so it didn't really matter what I got. And then after I glued it on, I just trimmed the excess piece off so they would all just kind of, you know, line up. So there you have it. There's my little DIY um, planner sticker book for my me and my big ideas. Happy planner stickers. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!